God, this is too much. Posted in the lab and show me something. Keep it soft and turn nobody in your city. Smoke exotics. Spin it slow. Yeah. And you know what I want. subscribe button and join the rosette family if you're an og comment down og rosette in the comment section down below so as you guys can see by the title today we're doing a self care reset routine um i know a lot of people like sometimes even myself do just reset routines like around the house or just like a little bit of self-care or like you know cleaning cooking meal prepping all of that but I've been needing to do like a a real deep self-care reset routine, like a myself uh, reset, because I have just been like, I don't even know, like it's hard for me to even articulate or explain how I've been feeling and like what I've been learning. Um, I've just been like in a deep area or a transition of healing from just a lot of stuff in life emotional trauma emotional baggage relationship trauma friendship ptsd like girl anything you can think of i have like it's kind of like a lot of things in my life that has happened over the last year is coming up on a year of a lot of stuff and although i feel so much better and i feel at peace in my life and like good things are flowing in um it's just been hard for me to kind of catch up to my now reality um even it being like my maintenance like getting my hair done getting my nails done toes done um and just like getting out the house and feeling good about myself um i feel good about my life and the people around me and my relationships now but I've just been having a hard time, like, kind of feeling good about myself, my appearance, my, like, ability to handle certain situations. So I just needed, like, self-care. Like, I haven't really been, like, focused on self-care. I've just been focused on, like, working, getting stuff done handling other stuff and showing up for other people so in this video i want to show up for myself for a change <laughs> um and just do something for myself i used to feel really 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 guilty for doing certain things for myself or like spending money on myself um so i'm trying to break that habit and just get in the habit of doing little things for myself that make me look and feel good. So today we are going to get our nails and toes done. Um, as you can see, I already had breakfast. I'm gonna bring um, a banana and some almonds and then this energy drink because I'm also trying to get back on like my health kit because I gained a lot of my weight back that I lost because I just haven't been mentally there to like maintain the weight loss or even lose more weight. So I really wanna show, when I say I really wanna show up for myself, that's with eating right, getting out the house, looking good and just feeling good. So we're gonna go ahead and get the day started. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you need a self-care reset, um, any tips of how to get out of a slump or just how to feel better about yourself, then keep on watching. Bitch, this is play, not call. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. 
got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every team, got me bill. Working got her paddock on my ribs, doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on the weekend like usual. Lay off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas call me slipping once, so okay, so what? Someone hit the block up, I play for us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. Know you see my text, baby, please say something. Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate run. Niggas gotta move on my release, they home. trying to keep it together right now <laughs> like this uh, I mean I don't know how old she is so I don't want to call her a girl but this woman young lady really just like was just so rude but no reason like it just and I'm on my period, FYI. But I am just <laughs> like it just really made me like remember why I stopped like going to get my nails done and like going to get maintenance because I feel like I don't I don't know what it is these days. Like it's like beauty services are just not the same anymore like they want to do what they want to do and i get it like people okay let me tell i'm gonna tell you what happened so she has a special going on for like you can get like a full set and acrylic on your toes i booked that for 10 a.m so then she texted me and was like she asked me if I could come earlier because she wasn't going to be able to do the full set in the acrylic on the toes um, in enough time to prepare for the next client. But then, okay, it'll, it'll make sense in a second. Okay, cool. So I was like, okay, well, I'll come earlier. So I got here at nine. So she started doing my nails or whatever. So like literally if I show you if I show y'all my nails and like what's on her Instagram, it's literally the same. Like I don't like only thing about me like I don't like sh super sharp nails because it hurts. So it hurts and it can get like it can like rip stuff on my clothes. So with having square, I just like them to buff like the edges like I don't like them so sharp to where like I'm scratching myself so that's really all I asked her to do um and I asked her to like make them a little narrower so before she was about to do like the French or whatever she was like um I'm not trying to be rude but this is not my style she was like my style these are like salon nails my style is more like it's super sharp and crispy. But I'm telling y'all, if I show y'all my nails right now, they literally look the same as to what is on her Instagram. That, that's what I'm like, I don't, like, literally, I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> like, I truly don't get it. So, my thing is, I didn't ask her to do any, like, I didn't ask her to do anything that was, like, taking up extra time. Like she did her own fouling. I just asked her to like buff them so it wasn't so they weren't so sharp. So then at this point, she's like, Well, I'm not gonna be able to do she goes, I'm not gonna be able to do your toes because I would have been like started on your toes. And I was just like, Okay, but my so 
it's like I don't know like she she was just my, okay mind you she got done like with my hands at 10 30 so it took her 30 minutes so I asked her I was like well how long does it normally take you to do like the acrylic on the toe she was like an hour so an hour for each okay so I don't know like y'all let me know if I'm like expecting too much but I'm like you don't have enough like buffer you don't have enough buffer in between clients for you to complete my service because like I got here on time I got here on time I got here an hour early so you still had like I don't know and then she was just like I was asking her I was like trying to negotiate with her like okay like are you booked all day because if I booked a if I booked a deal where it was my hands and my toes I was still trying to like basically ask her like okay well when can I come back to get my toes done like are you free later or tomorrow and she was just being like very rude and just short with me and like I don't know like trying to rush me out like she just I don't know why she had an attitude like I'm so confused like I'm really confused <sighs> okay let me I don't know let me get myself together because I'm trying to think of it if I probably would go to like um I want to go to the mall and try to find me something to wear to my friend's dinner on Friday um, and I may just go to a salon <laughs> Have a whole bunch of bitches run to sh run ship. Period. Y'all, my girl did her thug thizzle because. And <laughs> because, y'all, look at, look at the toes. Period. It's giving toe. Hold on. Y'all, I'm gonna put some lotion on, but period. Get into the toe cam. She did not come to play with you, hoes. Period. Oh my god. <laughs> no people looking at me like, what the fuck? <sighs> but anyway. Um, oh, I didn't really show you guys my nails. Hold on. So here are my nails. It's so funny because. They kind of look way more like bulky than they are <laughs> on camera. Um, but that's what she was saying, I guess, because like I was trying to get her to foul them. Because my nail beds are wide, but I've gotten my nails done a lot. Like if you foul straight, you, they could be, they don't have to be so wide. Like if that makes sense. So I feel like it's always trying, it's always hard trying to explain that to a new tech but overall they're still cute i like them i like the shape i haven't had like short acrylics um probably ever because yeah but it's cute okay with the toes here we toe get the fuck get get information be still Period. Period, poo. <laughs> Y'all see? 
y'all see y'all feel good already i just i want to have a company <laughs> <laughs> but i can go get my nails done tomorrow y'all i was just thinking like dang because we're going to a football game on saturday to um jsu uh, fun fact i danced all my life and when I was in high school, I did like artillery dance and like well, you dance for the band. And I really wanted to go to J Jackson State and become a J set. Like they're really known. Their dance um, dance team is really known. And but fun fact, <laughs> my mama was like, "No, y'all, that's too far. It's like eight hours. Like, what if something happens and you need to get home?" So that's why I ended up going to another college. But anyways. Besides the point, it's, that was 10 years ago. Um, yeah, so I'm so excited to actually, like, go and see the dancers. Like, I've been practicing my moves, y'all. I've really been practicing my moves because I still got it, okay? So, I'm for me and my friend, we're going to be in the stands getting it on, okay? But I was like, I need to figure out what to wear because, like, I have been in Alaska for so long. Like, it's not cold to me. But the wind here is is ridiculous. Like, it wasn't really windy in Alaska. That's why I always tell people it's not as cold as people think it is. But the wind in the south? Whew. Lord have mercy. So, I really want a flannel. I don't know what happened. Like, if y'all are OGs, y'all know that I used to wear this red flannel all the time. Like, in fall. And I had got it from a Goodwill. And I don't know what happened to it. I don't know like what happened to it throughout me moving and I don't, I don't know but I want to go to Goodwill I kind of miss like I miss thrifting like for real for real so I'm gonna see if it's like a Goodwill um around to see if I can find like a red I would prefer like a red flannel so I can just wear some jeans well probably some jeans I really want to wear some shorts um with a flannel and then like a graphic tee I think that'd be so cute and chic but comfortable for the football game so yeah let's let's get her done i'm actually really hungry y'all and i'm trying not to like get fast food um so i'm about to eat my banana <laughs> Ooh, it's going bad I'm about to eat my going bad banana i already had like i had that packet of almonds and stuff so i'm eat that and then um yeah. Alrighty, y'all. So I just woke up from a nap and I'm about to eat dinner. So I just got my chicken and rice, um, zucchini, onions, and mushrooms that I cooked. And then I'm going to be trying this kombucha. I never had kombucha, so I'm gonna be trying this today. All right, y'all, let me open the kombucha. Let's see what it's giving. So it's supposed to be, it says, it is a probiotic cold pressed juice and it has detoxifying acids gluten free vegan non-gmo um 70 calories it got a lot of sugar it's a probiotic tea for a healthy gut i'm surprised about the amount of sugar it has let's see chicken is pretty much oh you know what y'all know what i'm gonna put some balsamic glaze on these little wrap hold on okay let's take a bite and see really mm. this is what's up mm. Mm -hmm. okay i'm finished eating and i'm gonna get back to you Okay. Afternoon. Afternoon. So it's literally 3:47. I'm about to get my lashes done. 
And then we have to head over to my mom's house. By the way, I take these. By the way, I take these every day. Um, I'm gonna stop getting the gummies because I don't like how sweet they are now. Um, so I'm gonna just get the pills. But this has helped with like just my overall mood in my day. Like if you're someone that's like that has anxiety or like that overthinks or like constantly gets overwhelmed y'all when i say when you take these you won't be giving a you won't be giving a a f u c k about nothing like you will be so you will be truly unbothered with these okay these are my unbothered pills <laughs> um but they're said to relax you restore you and unwind you um so they just really calm you down they don't it's not like a sedative so they don't make me sleepy but they really just relax my mind so i love it so we're about to get our lashes done we gotta head over to my mom's house to do some stuff and since i woke up late because i was up watching scratch from scratch we'll get into that but um since i was up so late um watching that i woke up late so we are going to get one of these elena's um energy drink i want to do hawaiian shaved ice today these have a lot of caffeine in them so it's going to keep me pumping today and then we're going to get us an apple um because yeah i really want to bring my cheetah seed pudding because you know what yeah i'm gonna bring my well i got 10 minutes it takes me seven minutes to get over there um 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 <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm gonna bring this in, eat it in a, well, I can eat it later. I got it. Racing to my place. Watch this. <laughs> All right, y'all. We finna have one of this today because I, I need it. So, because I forgot to drink my other one that I got out yesterday. So, we're about to see. So, this is the Hawaiian, Hawaiian shaved iced one. Can y'all see? Come on. Focus. There we go. Boop. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all need to come over here and get y'all one of these. <laughs> this good. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. They did what they had to do with this. Okay. I'm going to need y'all to get out of the way. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on, y'all. Okay, let me see where it's telling me this time. Can you let me over? You can go up. You can, you can, you know, you can do the things. Let me go right over here. did that mm -hmm. okay i can go y'all hold on y'all host whoa let's hold our little horses anyways how y'all doing today how y'all feeling y'all feeling good everybody say hey miss yanni <laughs> in the comments <laughs> Say hey, Miss Yanni. <laughs> Give it to him. Oh, uh uh, uh uh. Um, I don't know about this, y'all. I don't know about this. This got this. Uh uh, I don't know about this because this got me crunk. This already got me crunk. This already got me lit. I am finna be. Oh my god, I'm finna be running off at the mouth. I'm so appalled. Wow, I, yeah, yeah, Celsius, <laughs> Celsius who, Celsius who, cause girl, <laughs> y'all, 
because um anyway so <laughs> oh yeah i'm gonna be lit next next um i'm gonna be lit next month because i feel like i want to work out like i really got these to go to the gym so wow Mm -mm. Actually, I think I got a fire. You're welcome. See, this is why I hate carrying cash because I would literally give all my cash to the homeless folks. Every time. <laughs> Every time. Oh. 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 Okay, let's stick with week one. Okay. Y'all, but I just wanted to talk to y'all real quick. I got like five minutes. Y'all, I didn't go to sleep till nine o'clock this morning because I was watching from scratch. And I was just up crying my little heart out. My heart could not take it. Like, I was, y'all, when I say I was boohoo crying, like I was really in my feelings because... If y'all know, if y'all know, but I went through a divorce last year. So, a lot of things that they were going through in their relationship was so triggering. Because I, like, watching it, I just wish some moments in my previously rela uh, my previous relationship were handled like that. Like, just out of love. And it just, like, hold on. Cause I'm trying to finish this before I get there. I'm gonna be hyped because I drunk this so fast. Yeah, so um, it just like really opened my eyes. Well, I wouldn't even say open my eyes. Like, I'm sorry. I this is how I know God is within me. Like, if God loves me because <laughs> I genuinely love. Like, I love people unconditionally. Like. One of my friends literally told me, like, I am the only person she's ever known to, like, love unconditionally and have a level of discernment that she didn't, like, quite, like, she's never seen before. And I think sometimes what I expected out of, like, in past situations, what I've expected out of people, like, just as far as just, like, genuine love. Oh, I can keep straight, I think. Just genuine love, whether that be friendship or a platonic, romantic family. I think most people just haven't had a good um, example of love, so they never seen it. Um, but even with that, I feel like most people don't, most people have not seen love. Like, it's crazy. Um, okay, did she say park right here? think so hold on okay we'll finish this conversation but um if you haven't seen the show go watch if you wanna it. run away with me i know a galaxy and i could take you for a ride i had a premonition that we fell into a rhythm where the music don't stop for life glitter in the sky glitter in my eyes shining just the way light. if you're feeling like you need a little bit of company you met me at the perfect time you want me Hey you all, so I'm on the way to my mom's house to go pick up these treats for my friend. Y'all, she, y'all, I'm really breaking i really need to get back in detox like my skin looks this is the worst my skin has ever looked ever in my life and i'm just not here for it um but she did such an amazing job like the y'all they are so beautiful they fit my eyes so good like this was such a good experience <laughs> such a good what's the word i'm looking for just such a good i mean experience but 
it really made up for yesterday that's what i'm gonna say it really made up for yesterday because y'all i don't think i ended up telling y'all but i didn't end up going back to the girl for her to do my toes i just went to a shop um which i'm probably just gonna start doing um but because she did end up responding to me we had talked and i was just like yeah no <laughs> um so i'm so glad like i got a service done that i'm really happy about that it was really like a good experience good conversation she did an amazing job good professionalism like i really miss like i need i needed this okay i i needed this and i get my hair tomorrow um and i get my hair done tomorrow and um the lady that's doing my hair tomorrow she actually washes hair so i just cannot wait for tomorrow to get my hair washed like really get getting the new looks and crannies out to take my braids out tonight and get my hair done it just feels so pretty like i just even now just have my lashes done my nails done my toes done like i just feel so pretty like um i may go out tonight um because my friend um got a new place and i just really want to celebrate him because i'm so proud of him y'all like i'm so proud of this man i just love when like people in my life when like i get to watch them Ugh, i'm trying to get emotional on my period but i just love when i get to see people in my life win like that's why i never understood like jealousy and enviness because i genuinely i am so like anybody in my life like i'm so happy at them so happy i get so happy for them when they win when they get to do stuff that they wanted to do when they just have good things happen for them like y'all when he told me he got his place i damn near almost if i wasn't getting my lashes done i would have cried because that's how happy i was for him um and i really want to um go out tonight so i may do that even if i don't go with him i'm probably just gonna go with my go by myself because i deserve to be seen okay period my mama calling me so let's go ahead and get on the way period girl get out my kool-aid mind the business that pay you girl what are apples Period. Period, pool. Ooh. It's the bats for me. Period. Y'all, I got me some church chicken because I'm hungry. Period. Period, pool. That girl got some lashes. She got her nails on, feet done, everything done but the hair. Oh, my hair getting done tomorrow. Period. Okay, boo boo. Getting done tomorrow. Oh. And she wash hair too. Yup. Cause you don't have to wash hair on her. And dude just don't want to. Oh, okay. Period. Mm-hmm. That's how you do that right now. Can you hand me a biscuit? You can hand yourself one. It was the daddy for me. He I was, know. He yeah. was just... But it's crazy because like it's parents that's really like that. Yeah. Who did, did your lashes? Did you look to see if that Kelsey. was a Oh, oh the girl that was at the thing. And she crazy. said she was here for them breakfast. Oh, she was. Mm -hmm. She said she talked to you about doing something. What kind of house house this is? She, she showed it. She was tall. Red habanero. What is y'all doing up oh, in this house? She did. We left in that TV. Where is the Louisiana? Ooh. Ooh. She had short hair. Can you hand me that? Yeah. Ooh, girl. Oh, yeah, she was saying. Not wrong for that. It's hot. All right, y'all. I'm finna eat. I'm gonna get to y'all when I leave. What? Hey, y'all. So, I just made it home. Um, I have these apples I need to put up. But I'm about to go out with a friend. Um, I think, um, he said he's supposed to go to this, um, a cigar lounge, which I've never been to, but he said it's casual. So I'm about to put these in here and then go do something. I'm probably going to keep this on because, or I'll probably redo my edges a little bit. Um, actually I'll probably throw on that bob wig. 
real quick. Um, okay, so I'm about to get ready really quick and then I'm not gonna bring my camera with me, but then I'll let you know, guys. I'm gonna let y'all know how it went when I got back. So I'll see you guys when I get back. Um, yeah. Hey y'all, so I just got back from the little impromptu date or whatever. We went to the, um, it's like a cigar bar lounge um, by the Battery in Atlanta. It was really nice, like it was a vibe. Like I would definitely go again. It was real chill, like cute. And I'm starting to really like chill, laid back first dates, like impromptu, like, just chill, cool, just to try to see like what that per person's vibe is. I'm not really big on like, oh, take me to Zena. <laughs> like do the most on the first date. Cause like, if I'm not, if it's no chemistry or like we don't have conversation, it's just like, what's the point? So it was cool. He was cool. He was older and um, it was cute. I enjoyed myself. I'm glad I went. Cause at first I was like, mm. It was kind of last minute, but it was cute. Um, also, I just got a package from Kiss. So it says hot, hot guel Halloween, sultry nails and lashes in a snap. Okay, here we go. So let's see. Oh my God, they gave me so many press ons. So they gave me these little glitter ones. These are really cute. They're like an emerald green. Cute. They also gave me these like like wine shades. Ooh, pretty. I like these. These are cute. Also, they gave me some more wine ones with design. They gave me some black ones. And then these are some more like emerald green ones. And then they also hold on gave me some lashes and some lash oh this is lash glue but here are the lashes i've been loving like if you don't have lash extensions and you're looking for some new lashes their lashes like kiss they've been killing it with the lash okay like they have been killing it these are pretty um so shout out to kiss thank you for the pr I haven't really gotten PR in so long. Well, I haven't gave any brands my updated address, so that's besides the point. So tomorrow we are getting our hair done and I'm getting on the road. Um, I really want like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling the vibe right now, but I really wanted to take a bath. Maybe I'll have time to do it tomorrow, but I just wanna relax and have a little bath moment for myself before I get on the road tomorrow. But I still have to pack and I gotta get my hair done in the morning. So that'll be the end of this vlog. Um, and I feel like <sighs> these last like three, well these last like two days have been so good. Like this, I feel like this is the reset that I needed. Like these days have been like amazing. So um, tomorrow will be the last day of this self-care reset vlog like i feel so much more motivated i feel so much more like calm and um yeah so i will see you guys in the morning once we get our hair did so i'll see you guys in the morning morning so hey y'all it's 9 30 um about to head to get my hair done um I ordered some stuff from Fashion Nova like two days ago, so it's supposed to get here today. It's in Atlanta, but I'm gonna call UPS to see if I could just pick it up because it says that it's gonna get here by seven and I need to be on the road, I think by four. Um, so I'm gonna call them when I get in the car to see if I can go pick it up. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do. Um, oh, yeah, I need to wash these. Well, I need to put these dishes in the dishwasher today and kind of tidy up before I leave. Um, but then again, I kind of just want to, uh, well, I'm going to put these dishes in the dishwasher for sure. Um, 
I don't know if I feel like doing like a deep cleaning today because I am tired. I guess since I don't, well, since I haven't been getting out too much, when I do like get out and do a lot of stuff, my body is just tired because I'm just, my body isn't used to me being like, like out and active. So like the last two days, I've just been like, whew, tired. Um, and I've also been trying to break my habit of being up all night. Like it's been, um, it's been hard trying to break that habit because when I was depressed, I used to just be up all night, like on my phone and I would just sleep all day. And also I would be up all night because my ex, I'm pretty sure he had sleep apnea or something. I used to be up all night because I used to be so anxious and so scared that something would happen to him. So I would like wait until he woke up and went to work to go to sleep. So I was doing that for like at least probably two your last two years. So I had really been trying to break that habit. Um, because I can get up early and I am way more productive when I wake up early, but try to break the habit of being up all night when I've just been doing that for so long. My body is just used to it. Cause even when I, I try, even if I just put my phone away, I'm still up. Like it's hard for me to go to sleep. And I definitely don't want to start taking like sleeping pills or anything to like depend on me going to sleep. So that's something I've been working on. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go. I'm so excited to get my hair washed. Like the fact that this lady wash hair is, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm just excited to get my scalp rubbed down, okay? My scalp deserves, okay? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. Got our hair did it looks so good look at the braid look at the bitch braids period um i told her not to do my edges because i like to do my edges on my own um so yeah but service was a 10 out of 10 okay 10 out of 10 would recommend shout out to my subscriber um that recommended her because i'm <sighs> I'm going to be coming back. Anything she do, I'm going to be coming back for it because it was 10 out of 10, okay? 10 out of 10. Um, so, I ordered some clothes from Fashion Nova. It's out for delivery. So, hopefully it gets here by, hopefully it gets delivered by 4 so I can get on the road by 4. Well, by 4.30. Um, and I need to go pack. Well, all the stuff that I'm wearing is pretty much in the Fashion Nova stuff, but all the extra stuff I need to pack. Um, and I'm going to try to get ready before I, like, go out of town. That'll be in another vlog. But um, when I get home, I'm going to go get something to eat. But when I get home, I'm going to do my edges so you guys can see the finished look. And this hair... A lot of people always ask me about the hair that I use when I get ponytails and stuff. This is my hair. I only use my hair. When Whenever y'all see me with ponytails or weave, it's my hair that I got from India when I went to India um, a couple of years ago. Um, but I do have, this is the curly texture. I do have a lot of bundles like still left, like straight, curly, and wavy. So if you're interested, just DM me. Let me know. Um, but yeah, I only wear my hair is so pretty 
um i'm gonna put a little more um mousse on it just to kind of define the curls i usually use this like curling mousse but i don't even know if i have it i don't know if i left it in la or not um but we will see um and yeah y'all my skin looks a little better i put some um retinol on it i don't know what it is i was also thinking i could be breaking out because i need to wash my brushes and i need to clean my beauty blender because typically typically that's a telltale sign that i need to like if i start breaking out that's a telltale sign that i need to wash my brushes but i haven't even been wearing a lot of makeup but um yeah it's not too bad um so i just need to drink more water and get it together when i come back from this trip i'm detoxing like detoxing y'all i just love me a good pony like it's so neat it's the braid for girl i'm gonna be outside <laughs> i'm really gonna be outside this weekend like i'm gonna be acting out okay what jada beta said or jada waiter i'm gonna be acting bad <laughs> because oh i just love doing hood rat shit with my hood rat friends and i love doing ratchet shit with my ratchet friends because oh my god like i just know we're about to have so much fun this weekend i'm so excited like i am so excited me i always like every year without fail i celebrate my friend birthday with him like we always do something so i'm excited i'm really excited to go to the game y'all oh my god y'all don't know like how, like my little heart is going to be so fulfilled going to the game because i i know i'm probably i'm probably gonna be emotional with my dramatic ass because i really wanted to go to jsu um to dance so being able to like go there as an adult and just see like almost what could have been and just having that that piece of me like i'm a dancer like at the end of the day i'm a dancer like that is me to my core like that is me 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 like i've been dancing all my life so to have that little piece of me I just uh, I miss dancing though too like I really want to start going back to like dancing classes and stuff um and just you know embracing that side of me because I really miss it like I'd be crying sometimes I'm like oh I just miss dancing like I really do like I could be a dance coach or something because I miss it so so much so I'm just I'm really excited for that that's gonna really uh that's gonna make my soul so happy like so happy um so it's about what time is it it is basically 12 so i have about four hours to get it together i think at the latest i could leave at five let me check ways again yeah so pretty much at the latest at the latest i need to leave by five to get there to get to dinner at eight so um i need to go get it together i really want to clean out my car for real but i need to go get something to eat and then um head to the house i think on the fashion nova app like you can actually see where the car like where the delivery car is at so we about to see but i need to get hey y'all so while i'm in this chick of a ley line I wanted to talk to y'all about something because it just really blew my mind last night and it's pretty much about self-care and y'all i'm sorry but like <laughs> i cannot wait to do my edges because it's gonna look it's not gonna my forehead gonna look so much better but i just love me a good pony like i can have a pony all my life okay but let me tell y'all something that i had um Oh my God, these pictures that I took of my nails look so good. Um, okay, hold on, let me get up in here, y'all. This is such a weird drive through. Okay. All right, y'all, let me, cause I have had, I've been having a really bad 
habit of procrastination lately and it kind of work it's been worrying me because i've never been like a procrastinator like and i'm learning like with just with healing and everything like i guess i'm like really starting to accept and understand like what traits i have now because of um a lot of emotional abuse within the past like two years with certain relationships um and procrastination has been a huge result of a lot of that um and i saw this on tiktok basically this man was like he went to therapy and he said his therapist asked him um in his childhood or just in life was he always was he never rewarded when he did good, but always got in trouble when he did bad? And I was like, it blew, y'all, when I say it blew my mind, because I feel like if you, it was a, a video I did a while ago, a few vlogs back, it was like life update. And I was talking about how I'm realizing that like my number one love language is words of affirmation and how I feel like I never got a certain level of like support and appreciation from the people in my life and that was a big reason why I was like really um, in a bad space for a while so when he said that I'm like oh shit that makes sense because with me I feel like people just like because I have accomplished so much and because I have done a lot of stuff, people just assume that like it's enough for me to just know that about myself. Um, but I notice people, I mean, now it's better. Like the people I have in my life is way better. But um, up until this point, even in childhood, it was never a lot of like i'm proud of you you did a good job like that's amazing like it was never really a lot of that but it's like the second i did something wrong or i did something like that wasn't the best like just me out of learning or whatever out of emotions whenever i just did anything that someone didn't like or that you know could possibly have been wrong because I, you know, I can take accountability. I have always gotten, like, heat for that. But it's like, I don't know why. It's like, it's easier for people to tell you when you've done something wrong or when they're mad at you or when you did something they don't like. But then it's so hard for people to tell you, like, good things. Like, it, it blows my mind. And basically, one of the comments said that they purposely purposely waited until the last minute to do everything so the panic and the fear of failure can be used as motivation like literally that's where i get my motivation from that's where i get my motivation from because it it kind of comes from like well i don't want to get in trouble it's like the little kid in me or like even the young adult in me that's like i don't want to get in trouble or like i don't want to be chastised so once it gets to the point that I feel like that may happen, that is what I use for motivation to get a lot of stuff done. Like it blew my mind. So it's just like now I'm learning to just like, I don't honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Me watching the show from scratch really gave me a lot of motivation because it just made me realize how like, how much of like life we, aren't really living we're just kind of like surviving and just just going through life and I feel like ever since I was depressed and like living in Alaska and not able to do certain things I'm still trying to like heal through that and get through that and realize like okay I'm on my own now I don't have to worry about anyone else I'm in a bigger city now so I can actually get out like it's actually things for me to do um also like I can do the things that I want to do and I don't have to like worry about how another person feels and I can actually like you know follow my dreams without worrying about anybody else but myself 
and watching that sh- watching that show like really kind of opened my mind and just gave me further um motivation and i feel like now you just really have to find that one thing in life that really like drives you and for me right now it's just knowing what i want my future family to look like hold on y'all hello all right y'all so like i was saying watching that show made me realize that one of my biggest motivations right now is to create a life to where when i do decide to get married in the future or when i do decide or when god decides to give me a child and make me a mother that i'm in a certain position in life to where i can actually feed into my child but also have built a stable like self-concept and a stable a certain level of maturity and um just a stable life that i'm happy about to where i don't have to sacrifice certain things when it comes to me having healthy relationships with a future husband or with my future children i feel like that i don't know like just thinking about that every day really has like pushed me to do to just get up and like live life and do what i need to do and go after with the thing like go after things i want to go after and not I don't know, just not allow certain things or people or situations to have so much power on me that I don't actually live my life. Because at the end of the day, we only get one life. So this, I don't know, these last three days have been just so, so eye opening. And I've learned that being intentional is the best thing you can do for yourself. Like, talking to God, praying, um, getting closer to God, journaling, allowing yourself, being honest with yourself about yourself and about what you need and what you want out of life is so important. But the main thing is being intentional. I noticed once you be, once you become intentional about what you want and what you need and how you want to go through life and you really get close to God and you really start praying about those things, they tend to kind of just fall into place. And they and blessings start to kind of just flow to align with whatever intention that is. So yeah, I just wanted to share that little nugget with you guys. So um, I'm about to eat, and then we're about to head to the house. So. Good. Hello. Hello. Fred, I'm sad. Come on. I'm, why did you make me watch this show? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's <laughs> okay. Oh, God. This is too much. Oh. <laughs> oh, hush. This is your fault. Oh. That baby. <laughs> hey y'all, so I just woke up from a nap. My package came in. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I have literally 30 minutes to get ready. Really to take a shower and do my makeup and then we're gonna get on the road. Um, but I'll show you guys what I got really quick. And then I actually got a try everything on, make sure everything fits before I pack it and then get there and nothing fits because that would just suck. <laughs> that would just suck. So, oh, I gotta make sure I bring some scissors. So I got this um, graphic tee from the men's collection, well, men's side. So I'm gonna cut off the sleeve so it's sleeveless and then I'm gonna wear it with some black denim shorts and my um, snake boots. So. Got this, I had got, I had saw this picture of Rihanna. She had an outfit on like that on Pinterest. So I was excited about that. Um, okay. I had to remember to bring my black shade. So I just remembered that. Okay, so boom. Um, also, I 
got this black skirt, black leather maxi skirt that I'm gonna wear with a bodysuit. And I got it in a size large, and it's stretchy, so I know I can fit it. So we are good on this. So actually, this is what I'm going to put on, but I don't think I wanna actually drive in it, so I'm gonna just pack it and then just change in the car. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else I got? I got this bag. This like Bottega dupe bag. It's like the silver Bottega inspired um, silver clutch bag. It's so cute. It has a good little like deep pocket in it. Cute. So I'm gonna wear this tonight. Um, I may just wear this all weekend because I feel like it goes with all my outfits except for one. Except for one. <laughs> but there we go. Um, I got these gold bangles. I've really been wanting some like chunky bangles, but I also haven't like looked them up. So I got these. Probably gonna wear all on one hand. So, got those. I'm gonna just put them in this bag. Well, actually, I'm wearing this bag tonight, so I'll have to put them in something else. Then I got. Ooh, hurry up. I got these cargo pants. Y'all, I was so mad because I had another pair, I had the same cargo pants. But the cargo, like the, the camouflage print was darker. And when I went to go check out, they were sold out. So I had to get this print, which is okay. I just would have preferred the darker ones. Um, I got this um, like New York shirt. And what I'm gonna do is like cuff the sleeves and just um, tie this in the front and tuck it in. I'm gonna wear this to the game with these camouflage pants and probably my red heels or my little like clear heels. Y'all, fun fact about me, like when I was in college and when I used to go to the basketball games, I used to always wear a little heel cause I'm that bitch, period. Um, but you you gotta make sure you're doing a comfortable heel. So <laughs> yeah. So I got these cargo pants. Um, so I need to try these on. I'm gonna try these on, make sure I can fit them. Cause if not, then I'll have to I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do. Um, I got this stacked necklace to wear with this game day outfit. I'll probably wear it with that other graphic tee. So it's just this like gold cross diamond and like um, like the Mary Jesus thing. So put that right here. So I need to go pack all of this. Then. I saw this pretty like two piece set. So it's these pants, these like kind of cargo slap type pants, nude. And then the top is like this tube top. So we will see. Um, I'm gonna do my makeup and get dressed and close out this vlog and then start a new one. So. I'll see you guys in a minute. Y'all, this right here, this one is good. I'm trying the watermelon flavor, but. Let me These are so much better than Celsius. Like, they give you energy instantly. Like, you ain't gotta wait for it to hit. Like, now I'm like, okay, what I gotta do? What I gotta do? <laughs> mm. I like this flavor. This has been the best one. I gave my mama my cherry one, but this one is good. Watermelon wave. So I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty y'all, so I got dressed. So here's my outfit. I don't know if you guys can really see it. I'll try to have my friend take a picture of me, but this is the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog because I really did. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next one. I need to hurry up and get ready to go. So I'll see you guys in my next video.